Hello from ancient China. Marketing huckster Nick here from Firefly Studios with another Stronghold Warlords dev diary. Today we'll be revealing three brand new units as part of our Soldiers of Warlords series here on YouTube. In prior videos, we've explored the differences between auxiliary and imperial troop types, while also giving you a preview of a few of the unit abilities coming to Stronghold Warlords. When it comes to troop types, their unique abilities, cavalry, varied cultures and strategies have been our priorities from day one, as we try to do justice to these legendary warriors with interesting tactical gameplay. Unlocked as you play through the game's 30 mission single player campaign, with access to all 16 units in skirmish mode and multiplayer, each unit is designed to bring something fresh to your castle siege sandbox. Today we continue to explore this variety by introducing one of the game's Japanese troop types, as well as revealing additional warriors from the Chinese Imperial Army. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce... Oda Nobunaga, Hattori Hanzo, Tom Cruise. Our history, cinema and video games are awash with tales of legendary samurai. With their unflinching loyalty and strict code of honour, samurai take various forms in our history and fiction. From the humble ronin to the great daimyo of the Japanese shogunates, these historical figures seem to have captured our imagination like nothing else. As we've covered in previous videos, the overall timeline of the game takes us from 3rd century BC Vietnam all the way up to the Sengoku period of Japan. The Japanese portion of our campaign kicks off with the siege of Inabayama Castle in 1567 AD, and it's here that you'll be using Warlord's samurai units in earnest. Recruited at the Military Academy, a brand new building and stronghold for training specialised units, the Samurai is one of many in the game to boast a unique ability. When entering into combat, the Samurai can be commanded to charge headfirst into battle, ending this charge with a powerful strike on an enemy unit. This precision strike will cause knockback on enemies, dealing a large amount of damage in the process and making them ideal for taking out high health units like generals. While many units in the game have passive abilities, often buffing a specific troop type around them with a green area of effect, the Samurai's cooldown ability must be triggered to use it. Just be sure to hit your target, as their relatively slow movement speed means that a missed strike will leave them open to punishment, particularly from faster units like Axemen or Cavalry who can easily swarm and cut off a group of brave Samurai left open. In our first units video, we spoke about how Axemen are not a million miles away from being a proxy for the classic Stronghold Macemen. And if Axemen are Warlord's Macemen, then the Samurai is in many ways our spiritual successor to the classic Stronghold Knight. With the solid armor rating and some of the highest attacking power in the game, Samurai perform to the highly trained warrior standard you'd expect. Balanced with a high gold cost and steady movement speed, the Samurai should form part of any siege force aimed to take out a particularly high profile target. Just remember, like the best units in the game, Samurai are still vulnerable to siege weapons such as the fire cart or rocket launcher. After all, if it didn't work for Tom Cruise, it's probably not going to work for you. Winding things back to ancient China, which inspired a whole two-thirds of Warlord's units and siege weapons, we also have a couple of new Imperial troop types to reveal today. In case you missed our first Soldiers of Warlords episode, Imperial troops are Warlord's high-cost, high-performance units. Requiring a substantial gold investment, as well as both armour and a weaponsmith to create their weapon of choice, Imperial troops are only really accessible once your castle economy is in full swing. Our first Imperial troop reveal is the Guardsman, a thickly armoured elite unit equipped with a heavy mace and a fondness for using this mace to crush the bones of their enemies. While the Guardsman lacks a conventional ability that can be triggered like the Samurai, his mace is sufficiently large enough to cause the occasional wide arc of area damage. This passive ability makes the Guardsman ideal for spearheading your attacking force, softening up front lines of lightly armoured enemy troops or just completely crushing unarmoured ones. The Guardsman makes himself something of a target in this regard, which isn't hard when you're carrying around a mace the size of most adult men. So, even with all that armour, you'll want to protect him as much as possible. The ability to crush his enemies to death a few at a time means using the Guardsman is a more tactical affair than you might at first think. Like the Imperial Bannerman, the Guardsman is a specialised unit, most effective as part of a squad, and best used in conjunction with Ward's new formations. One of our favourite tactics involves forming a barrier around the Guardsman with more expendable troops allowing him to deal damage while staying mostly out of harm's way. Even better, get the Guardsmen into a siege tower and you'll be clearing castle walls of archers better than the Urukai at Helm's Deep. While they lack any special ability, 
underestimating the Imperial Warrior will get you very dead very fast. With high armor and attacking power, the Imperial Warrior is the shock troop of Stronghold Warlords. Featured in our PAX East demo earlier this year, Imperial Warriors are slow moving but highly effective instruments of destruction. Requiring gold, armor, swords, and of course an unemployed peasant to recruit, recruiting a squad of Imperial Warriors is not an easy decision. These aren't the kind of units you panic train when you suddenly notice a squad of horse archers approaching the gatehouse. Imperial Warriors are made to be played as part of the long game in Warlords, for when you're serious about getting within range of heavily fortified enemy walls and doing some serious damage. With full armor and a shield, they are among the most resilient troops in the game, able to take archer fire and even resist environmental hazards like fire. You may find their pace lacking compared to the light-footed axemen or tribesmen, but get them in within range and all but the hardest enemy troops will fall to a squad of these fearless fighters. There are even ways to boost their effectiveness when paired with other suitable units. Bannermen, for one, will boost the fighting spirit of any nearby Imperial Warriors, making them even harder to kill and thus giving the Warriors more time to deal damage. It's also handy to pair Warriors with troops that work as counters to their weaknesses. Imperial Crossbowmen are the bane of their lives, able to punch through armor and deal high damage. However you decide to pair them up, the Imperial Warrior is a force to be reckoned with, and one of our favorite new units coming to Stronghold Warlords. So there you have it, three brand new Japanese and Chinese units available in Stronghold Warlords when the game releases later this year. Now, as you may have noticed, today's video includes no live action footage. This is a result of Firefly Studios working remotely since mid-March. While we haven't been able to record any new footage of our charming marketers or developers since the 100 Things You Need To Know video, this doesn't mean we're slowing down. These are strange times, no doubt. But rest assured, we're doing our best to keep you updated on the course of development and all new features coming to Warlords. If you'd like to support Firefly and the Stronghold series as a whole, please don't forget to wishlist the game. We've been getting a huge amount of love on Steam thanks to fans hitting that wishlist button, and it's all thanks to you, our awesome community of castle builders and besiegers. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give us a like, remember to stay home, stay safe, wash those hands, and play video games.